Well, as we come to Sterling Heights, uh, we always are talking about the things that are on people's minds, and there has been something that has been happening here in Sterling Heights that caught the attention of Help Me Hank. He recently did a lunch. He met up with a lot of folks over at Sterling Coney Island just a couple weeks ago. He was listening to the folks and really trying to address what is on their mind. What are they dealing with? Yeah, and he also has tips about a big scam right now that's targeting seniors in this area. You know, consumer investigator Hank Winchester, uh, he's with us right now to talk more about that. And tell us what's going on, Hank. Hank. Hey. Just about a week or so ago. And during that time, as you mentioned, I heard from a lot of different viewers sharing a lot of different story ideas and specifically seniors talking about a scam that's been happening here. They're either getting a call or a text message. It sounds so good. They've struck it rich. But all they're actually doing is these scammers, they're trying to rip people off. Take a look. The guy just said, you know, well, I don't know. He said, what, where do you bank? And I said, none of your business. Pat in Sterling Heights called Help Me Hank after receiving a call that she knew was a scam. Take a listen for yourself. This is an official call from the publisher's clearinghouse. I decided to call the lottery scammer myself. But I didn't pick up the visa card yet. I still have to do that. Why, why are you scamming these people? You know that this is a, a complete scam. Why would, why would you do this to people? <laughs> For a brief moment, Pat, like many of you, thought maybe this was legit. Maybe she struck it rich. That is until the scammer asked her to pay up first. And then she started hearing from seniors in Sterling Heights, also targeted this week. The scammers, they are targeting one community at a time. You may remember last month, they focused on seniors in Troy. This woman I met paid almost 700 grand to a scammer because she was given the promise that she would get millions. What has this done to you? It's devastated me. Are you kidding me? I spoke with Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel about this growing scam focused on seniors. When you have that pop up on your screen, on your you know device, and all of a sudden it indicates that you won something, if you didn't enter into a lottery, you definitely didn't win that lottery. That you know, you never have to send money out to get your winnings. Remember, never pay first to get a lottery prize. Never buy gift cards to secure your winnings. Trust your gut. If it doesn't seem right, it probably isn't. And contact police if you've been scammed. And the trend that police have been seeing again is that these scammers are going community by community. So as you heard a few weeks ago, it was Troy. Right now it is Sterling Heights. Who knows where they are headed next? That's why we wanted to share this important information with all of you. And again, the big takeaway here, if it sounds too good to be true or it doesn't sound just right, take a moment, really think about it. Maybe run the story by a loved one or a friend. Verify the information before you make a move. We're live here tonight at Sterling Heights. Uh, Karen DeMond, let's send it back to you guys. Yeah, right, good I, advice. Yeah, good also, advice. a shout out for those lunches. Every time you hold those, those people show up and everyone always has some kind of big issue or concern. So shout out to all the people that show up there. We love that. Yeah. Thanks, Hank.